All right, so I wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys today. Recently, there is this new thing I've been using in some of my videos to add just like a little extra flavor, a little, little extra oomph, if you will, make things feel just a bit more cinematic. Boom. Fog machine. Now, uh, hold, hold on, I, I know what you guys are thinking. A fucking fog machine? Like, nice, cool. Not trying to make my videos look like a shitty 80s horror movie. But wait, we're not talking about using this thing like a, a normal fog machine for like haunted houses or special effects or something like that, but as a haze machine. It's not exactly new news. Some of you might know that haze machines are used to enhance the effect of light and help create atmosphere. Because of this, they're widely used in the filmmaking industry. In fact, I can guarantee that you've seen movies and TV shows that use these things. It's used to create depth and diffusion and just overall soften the image, which if you guys haven't caught on by now, softness is your friend. It's a huge part of why you see people using things like pro mist filters on their lenses lately. We can effectively create more of that filmic, you know, cinema feel with the haze, aiding to take that digital over sharpened edge off of our footage. It brings the atmosphere to life in a way that can add to that nostalgic character that you often find in movies and TV shows that allow you to connect and resonate with that scene even more. You guys might recall that I used this thing in the B-roll that I shot of the Peter McKinnon bag, the video that I put out just last week, I wanted to make that scene really hit hard and feel sort of mysterious. So I used a bold overhead top key light and along with a few practicals, then added in the haze to really tie everything together. And in all honesty, I think it turned out pretty sick. Now, the thing is, real haze machines, not fog machines, are expensive. Like, we're talking a couple hundred dollars at the minimum for like a budget one. They do also make this thing called atmosphere in a can or haze in a can, which some of you might have heard of, but that stuff is also pretty expensive. Fog machines effectively do the same thing, but their output is a lot heavier and denser. But if we just, you know, take the fog and waft it around and kind of thin it out, let it settle for a while, boom you have haze. I found this little guy on Amazon for about 30 bucks. Uh, it's compact, it's lightweight. It comes with a wired remote and then also this cute little wireless one. And then of course we need some fog liquid. That's another 10 bucks or so, but uh, that's, that's it. So I wanna take you guys through a few shots I set up and kind of show you the before and after look we can achieve by using haze. Testing. So what inspired this shot and really this video to be honest was just the sunset that we had coming in through our apartment windows. This light was just raking across the back corner here where we have the mirror. I thought it looked really nice. And so I set up this nice little vanity makeup shot with my girlfriend. The light went down unfortunately. And so I had to light it with the Aperture 300X with a reflector to recreate that golden hour light. I wanted to shoot a couple different angles, a wide shot and then maybe like a medium close up and this is our result. guys, but I am definitely a fan of what the haze did in this scene to kind of add just like a little bit more of that moody kind of filmic atmosphere vibe to everything. I think it just makes the whole scene feel a little bit more like intentional, if that makes sense. Another thing I think that's worth mentioning is this is definitely not something you would use in like all of your videos, but reserved more a little bit for the artistic kind of fun, creative stuff, maybe like short films or cool like product B-roll sequences similar to what I did with the Peter McKinnon bag. Like, it's certainly not something I would use on my main talking head A-roll shot. I'm always looking for ways to challenge myself and experiment to achieve different looks in my footage, whether it's lenses, filters, lighting, you name it. But let's face it, most of the time, 
that stuff can be pretty expensive. So if you guys are looking for a cheap and fun way to experiment with your footage, add some you know badass atmosphere and depth into your shots, then I highly recommend you guys check out this $30 little fog machine. And in case you were wondering, no, this video is not sponsored. Just wanted to do something a little bit different, kind of quick, and just show you guys a way that I've been playing around with my footage lately. But uh, the link down in the description is an affiliate link. So if you click that or buy one, you will be supporting me in the channel. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.